Okay. Look at this. Okay, stay with your brother, okay? You guys gotta hang together, you hear me? Follow him all the way down here. community. My name is Doran Matthews and I am the founder of FPA Foundation, which stands for Forcerin Progressive Advocacy Foundation Inc. Um, we are a human rights grassroots activist organization and we started in 2008. And what we do is we organize communities of color to take action on social justice issues that are impacting their community. Our first priority has been foster care and then other social justice issues that have been impacting them. So right now we just started our National Child Welfare Watch Group in order to take action against Child Protective Services. Um, FPA Foundation is located in New York City, but right now we're going to be branching out, going to each state, reaching out to you to find out about your stories and how we can have you share your story so that we can take action at the United Nations in order to hold Child Protective Services, um, Family Courts, Health and Human Services accountable at the end of the day. Um, most of the cases that come through Child Protective Services is neglect. And neglect means that the, the, the parents can be, the parents can have poverty, um, they don't, their lights is off, and they need some type of assistance. But why is Child Protective Services removing children and putting them in foster care? Um, they're doing this because they get federal incentives to do so. Uh, according to the Adoption and Safe Family Act, the ASFA law, each agency gets federal incentives every time they remove a child from a parent. Um, a lot of parents' rights are being violated, a lot of children' rights are being violated inside the foster care system, and we must hold them accountable. Right here in New York City, we had 3,200 complaints made against ACS, the Administration for Children's Services, and the foster care agencies and family courts. And no one seems to be taking action on this issue. We did have the public advocate, Letitia James. She did file a lawsuit against them at this particular time. Um, but we need more, more has to be done. We need really some serious accountability. We need to protect parents' rights. We need to protect these children's rights. These are a lot of human rights abuses that are taking place. So if you're interested or you have a story to tell, if you want to join our movement, we just don't focus on foster care. We focus on a lot of other social justice issues that are impacting communities of color, whether you're black, Latino, poor and white, you can join our organization so that your voice is heard. So let's do this together. Let's go city to city, town to town, state to state. Let's make sure that our voices are heard. Let's make sure that we stop these human rights abuses. So take a look at our website, www.fpafoundation.org, and contact us today at 646-402-6133. Thank you very much for your time, and we hope that you join our movement today. And again, you can email us at reform at fpafoundation.org. You can call us. But please don't be silent. We have a lot of issues that are going on from police brutality, child welfare, uh, border education, the prison system. There's a lot of work to be done. And you, you, the, you're the people that's most impacted. You need to stand up and demand your respect and demand your power. And the only way that we can do that is if we do it together with unity. So let's, let's not be silent. Let's make sure that we take action today. Join our movement. Thank you.